Isn't that amazing? No. I barely fit. I love going to family reunions for several reasons, but the main one is I have 11 brothers and sisters and I find a common bond, a thread that works through all of us that makes me feel at home. Well, that's the redwood forest. All these trees are so massive. You love standing in the middle of them. It sounds like they're telling stories back and forth. It feels like a great reunion and you want to be a part of it. Hey, this is a lot easier. Hey, it's almost like they made it that way. The difference between Sequoia National Park and the Redwoods is before your eyes. The foliage and the ecosystem of the Redwood Forest is second to none in preservation and its natural beauty. Somebody's got to clean this place up. One of the things you need to know about the Redwood Forest is that you feel like any minute, whoa, there goes an Ewok. Captain Luke Skywalker and the Ewoks took down the dreaded empire. This is where it was filmed, right here. And you can just feel it. I mean, you remember how they were floating above the ferns? And it happened right here, and freedom prevailed. Well, tell everybody what it's like to do a national park tour on the back of a motorcycle. It's the most amazing thing you've ever done in your entire life. Uh, first of all, I'm on the front of the motorcycle, not the back. So. <laughs> He's hugging him. He's just laying his shoulder on his head on his shoulder. Going to I'm, going, I'm going to see I'm going to see I'm going to see No, we're on the front of the motorcycle. Okay. I'd like to ride on the front of the motorcycle through America's national parks. It's freedom, man. It's it's a man's rite of passage. It's just the way you got to go. The man's got to do it to get through life at least once. It's all America. Right. I have seen a lot of parks. What's your favorite? I have no favorite. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I, was I like, love them all. The mall? You like the mall? Yeah, you get to I shop all day, them. buy oh. stuff. Everything oh. is beautiful. I think that's the beginning of a song. You want to sing it? <laughs> no. <laughs> when you think of national parks, you think of the mountains. However, the song goes from the redwood forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land is your, your land. This, this land, land is my land. land. This land is <laughs> From California, California to the New York Forest, forest something. To the Redwood, Redwood forest, forest. To the Gulf Stream waters. waters. This, this land was made for you and me. Okay, one more time. Be finished. This, this land was made for you and me. <laughs> A little backwards, but you know. You might want to do that again. <laughs> In 1820, explorer and trapper Jedediah Smith came through these parts and was truly amazed by what he saw. So he went home and he told everybody about how awesome these trees were. The national parks are turning a hundred, but the things they protect in some cases are hundreds and even thousands of years old. To give you an idea how old this tree is, we start here in 1377, pre-Columbus, Michelangelo, Pre-Plymouth Rock, the Revolution, the Civil War, and Ronald Reagan. There's evidence that up to 3,000 years ago, people lived right here in the Redwoods. And they used these trees for canoes, pencils, houses, <laughs> pencils. I don't know if they had pencils. This is not a good pencil. This is a wonderland for imagination. You bring your kids here, there's so much to look at. So here we are at the base of this tree, and you can see, if you have a great imagination, a man's face. There's the nose, you can see the eyes, and then you can see where his nose has run for hundreds of years. right about there. Can you help me out? Are you ready for bears? Okay, one, Are you ready for bears? two, three. Hey. Run!
Run away, y'all. Run away. <laughs> Kids love this stuff. They like to let their imagination run free, and you'll be amazed at how creative your kids really are. One of my favorite things about being an artist is bringing the people to life. <laughs> these bikers reminded me of going on the road with my brothers. You could tell these guys love the Redwoods, and they loved America's National Park. Our families are like these Redwoods. They're not all the same, they're different. Some are tall, big, short, whatever. We're unique. And as you stand in these groves of trees, you feel safe. And isn't that what we want to feel when we're with our families? And that's Redwood National Park. I'll tell you how I feel about this land. There are stickers on my legs, and there are good fighting things, and there's weeds. And... Well, you like, do the bear, I'll do the eagle. Like, whatever, just do something. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> you know what? That's a, that's, that's that sounded a, like a crow that's a on crow. steroids. <laughs> that's an eagle that needs therapy. How do you feel about working with kids? You know what? I think kids are so mellow, so good. Come on over here. Come on. <laughs> is how filming goes. Take 75. Yeah. I can't speak anymore. I speak for the trees. And they're saying, stop standing on me. You need to lose some weight. They're also saying, wait a minute, I'm hearing it. No, I'm not hearing a thing. I actually can't hear the trees at all. So naturally, the gold rush happened here in North Carolina. We're gonna get our our most mature eagle right now. <laughs> <laughs>